Welcome to the third part of the Gaia video tutorial. In this part I'll demonstrate how to construct a map using various data services and, and types. Uh, I'll also show how to style feature layer using the, the Gaia symbology and rendering mechanism. I'll start the demo by adding uh, layers. We can add a layer using the tools add layer menu item or the control A shortcut or we can use this button here on the map layers panel when I click it the add layers dialog opens up and there are three tabs OGC services, base maps and files to start my map I'll, I'll open a base map from Microsoft Virtual Earth I'll use the hybrid this time and the map opens up. I can right click on the virtual earth menu item to quickly switch between map types. In this case I'll select the hill shade. I'll use my bookmark to go to the US national level. I'll add another layer and this time it will be phone file. I'm going to add a shape file. This shape file is a uh, weather data. And once I add it, these are points that represent weather sensors. We'll go back to that layer in a second. Another layer that I want to add is from an OGC service. Gaia has a robust uh, OGC support, which we'll discuss in the next part of the tutorial. Uh, but what I want to add now is actually a web map service. The service I'm looking for is from a company called Custom Weather. So I'll use the quick search to look for that web map service. I'll select it. Once I selected it, uh, the capabilities of that web service were quickly read and displayed as a preview. I'll select the radar. A quick preview was generated. I'll click OK and the data is added. This is real time radar uh, information from Custom Weather. The map layers have items for each uh, uh, map layer. So I can actually switch them on and off using this checkbox. I can also change the order of layers. Um, the order is always bottom up, so uh, the top layer is showed last, but I can switch the order by dragging and dropping the layers. I can also change, uh, quickly change the uh, point symbol here by double clicking on the circle and it opens up the symbol selector. I'll select an arrow, I'll make it green and I'll adjust the size a little bit. Voila! But this is not very formative, is it? I, I can do better than that. So instead of just going to the point selector, um, symbol selector, I'll go to properties of that layer and go to symbols. Now I have more choices here. One of them is the point rotation. I'll use the wind direction to select the rotation of the symbol. Now this is a little more informative, but I can do better than that. Let's go to properties again. Go to symbols and this time I'll check the unique values renderer. I'll also do a point size uh, uh, according to the wind speed. And I'll set the color of the symbol according to the temperature. I'll make it relative and set the symbols. I'll adjust the color set to a green to white gradient. And set the symbol again, reset, and this is what I want. Now this is much more informative. Lastly, I can use the info tool to inspect various uh, elements in the map. So I'll click on the map, you can see uh, that the virtual earth will show me the tile I selected. Uh, the weather sensor data will show me all features within the range of that uh, mouse click. And the radar will actually go to the web service and fetch 
uh, information about that area that I clicked. I hope you enjoyed this uh, part of the tutorial. Uh, next time we'll talk a, a little bit about OGC. Uh, we go into more details what uh, we can do with the uh, OGC in Gaia.